we always try to own what we produce, and you can't really do that because people are so dependent on each other. This is called having never wanted to own the business. I have come back from countless days of conference rooms not knowing how to reduce the redundancy of numbers beyond saying something soothing like ice on steel, like armored tanks taking out the roads to madness. My years are gone now, woven into gray wool, pressed thin and shiny by the cigarettes, scotch, and dry-cleaning bills. A man is 26 miles of intestine stretched above a desk, running multiple times a day to the snack machines and urinals, a sensory input in an electronic web of phone calls to the infinite. My years are gone. I have come from countless halls. I have come back to the page-torn poetry books I read and wrote, and to the fiery shriek of invisible angels celebrating my return and the echoes of my now never empty room, and to the shared nights of readings, cryings, lovings, amid the shingles of material poverty where soup bones boiled all day. And a can of beans was what we ate on a good day. We drank each evening on what we could borrow amid cigarettes and marijuana and loud coffee espresso machines and made love in that until the sun rose and we had to hand in our time machine cards that marked down our uselessness, making ourselves a mockery of the machinery of diatribe having never wanted to own the poetry, but only to talk with you or to take your clothes off and venture together down into the street. Now, as I come through the door built by someone else, I find you still here, still waiting to make love, still. Jack, old buddy, how you doing, is what I wanted to hear. And that's why I went into the business in the first place, just to hear someone say my name one time during the day. Just say, hey, you're different. You're someone that we care about. That's what business is about. They're a street gang who don't believe in our women in their cool white gowns, who smell of garlic and play trash music and chase whores, scoping in on our territory, not even knowing our names. We don't want much, but you have to take your stand with your own scorekeeper, accountant, referee, switchblade, unsigned neutral contracts made out to the highest bidder. I can tell you that, having come back from countless halls, I am a name on better than a thousand Rolodex from New York to Washington, each one retired to rooms with shoeboxes of data, cards, and dust. My eyes are made of office complexes and monuments. Rodents scurry through my corridors with wireless whiskers intent on gnawing their way to eternity on cockroach eggs. And I come to you to plea. I come over dirty magazines and scraps of yesterday, absolutely filled with dismay that those of us who are breaking, breaking away have broken away the same way you are breaking away, with our lust hung up but still coming unzipped at all the inappropriate times and our belly buttons peeping through our clothes, speaking of the godly connection to flesh we were born of. I come to you tired and heavy with the arguments of salesmen who have died in unwashed alleys holding photos of their children.